So what did you find? Well, we found a lot. We have identified some very, very interesting anomalous um, type of aircraft, let's call them aircraft. Information is a potential threat to national security. Approximately 70,000 years ago, humans rose to prominence as the dominant species on Earth, a period marked by the extinction of numerous large animals. However, what if there exists another species, potentially more advanced than us, lurking in the shadows? What implications might this have for our societal structures and our position in the world? Lou Elizondo, a well-known media figure and former U.S. Army counterintelligence special agent, as well as a former employee of the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Intelligence, recently unveiled startling revelations about aliens and UFOs. These revelations cast light on what the government might be concealing from the public. What precisely did he disclose? Let's delve into the details and uncover the truth. Luis Lu Elizondo boasts an impressive background as the former director of the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, AATIP, a clandestine unit within the Pentagon dedicated to the study of UFOs. With a wealth of experience as a senior counterintelligence officer for the Department of Defense, his career spanned operational zones in Afghanistan, the Middle East, and Latin America. Lou's professional journey includes leadership roles in both tactical and strategic missions conducted during periods of both conflict and peace. He also orchestrated sensitive source operations aimed at some of America's most formidable adversaries. Following his tenure in the Pentagon, Luis Elizondo has transitioned into the role of a prominent field investigator in the civilian sphere, carrying on the investigative work he was engaged in within the AATIP program. He has emerged as a vocal advocate for the study and examination of unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs. Lou Elizondo's demeanor is often characterized by a solemn and enigmatic expression and he has made numerous appearances in interviews, speeches and documentaries. His work has garnered extensive coverage in the media, contributing to the growing discourse surrounding UAPs and related phenomena. Luis's advocacy efforts have garnered him a substantial following within the scientific and UFO enthusiast communities, establishing him as a recognized and respected figure in these fields. In October 2017, Lou Elizondo became affiliated with To The Stars Academy of Arts and Sciences and played a pivotal role in disseminating three declassified videos to the media. These videos, known as the Pentagon UFO videos, were captured by pilots from the United States Navy operating from the aircraft carriers USS Theodore Roosevelt and USS Nimitz. However, the fascination with UFOs has lingered at the fringes of the American collective consciousness for nearly eight decades. In the summer of 1947, private pilot Kenneth Arnold reported witnessing a formation of nine shiny objects soaring past Mount Rainier at speeds two to three times faster than the speed of sound. This account, once widely publicized, triggered a full-fledged cultural phenomenon. The term flying saucers burst from newspaper headlines into the common lexicon, and within the subsequent six months, there were approximately 850 similar sightings reported, as documented by one estimate. During the latter half of the 20th century, roughly half of the nation's populace held a belief in UFOs. From the initial UFO reports, a handful of scientists and military personnel embarked on a quest to apply rigorous data analysis and deeper research to this enigmatic question. However, the US government grappled with how to respond to this phenomenon. In 1948, a classified study known as Project Sign presented a divided perspective. Some members of the study believed that the various reports hinted at interplanetary occurrences, while others considered them to be erroneous sightings akin to celestial optical illusions. Despite this uncertainty, a continuous stream of UFO sightings persisted. In 1952, Major General John Sanford, the Air Force Director of Intelligence, held a news conference in an attempt to reassure a concerned nation. He disclosed that the military had analyzed between 1,000 and 2,000 reports, and in most instances, they had determined that these sightings had no association with aliens or spacecraft. However, he conceded that a subset of these reports had been made by credible observers who had witnessed extraordinary puzzling events. 
It was this category of observations that they were actively working to investigate and comprehend. From 1947 to 1969, the Air Force discreetly documented such reports under Project Blue Book, an initiative established to both scrutinize and debunk UFO encounters. Nevertheless, neither Project Blue Book nor similar government and military programs in the ensuing decades managed to make significant public progress in resolving the UFO question. The absence of concrete answers or even official acknowledgement only served to intensify widespread intrigue and frustration surrounding the issue. Leslie Keane, a prominent figure in mainstream journalism who has been investigating the UFO phenomenon for over two decades, shares in the enduring sense of frustration surrounding this issue. Her involvement in reporting on UFOs commenced in the year 2000, and she solidified her position in the field with the publication of the best-selling book in 2010 titled UFOs – Generals, Pilots and Government Officials Go on the Record. This book is widely regarded as a seminal work on the subject. For a considerable period, Keane has been an advocate for the establishment of a federal agency dedicated to openly addressing and investigating UFOs. Her stance on this matter is rooted in the belief that government involvement is essential, primarily because civilian organisations are ill-equipped to grapple with the complexities of these phenomena. Furthermore, she observes that the government had either been neglecting these issues or disseminating fabricated accounts, which only added to the overall frustration and lack of clarity surrounding the subject. Nonetheless, a pivotal moment in the push for increased government transparency emerged in December 2017. At that time, Leslie Keane, along with two other journalists, authored an article in the New York Times that exposed the existence of a clandestine Pentagon unit known as the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program AATIP. Under the leadership of Lou Elizondo, this covert unit had been quietly investigating UAPs. The article was accompanied by two videos recorded by military personnel which appeared to depict aircraft operating without any discernible means of propulsion and executing maneuvers that appeared to defy the laws of physics. A third video was subsequently made public. These visuals were complemented by first-hand accounts from Navy pilots who had encountered such phenomena. However, as Lou Elizondo himself attests, his realization that UFOs were not merely the stuff of conspiracy theories or the imaginings of fringe enthusiasts came almost immediately after he joined AATIP in 2008. He soon discerned that there was substance to these reports, that real objects were infiltrating controlled airspace and impacting military pilots, all without a comprehensive understanding of what they were or where they came from. But now, Lou Elizondo has once again captured the spotlight through a YouTube video titled Lou Elizondo Reveals the Terrifying Truth Behind UFOs, hosted by Theories of Everything with Kurt Jaimungal. In this video, he shared his perspective that if the general public were privy to the same information and experiences regarding UFOs that he has encountered, it would likely trigger an initial sense of relief. However, this would swiftly be followed by introspection and deep contemplation about the profound implications for humanity. Such revelations might lead to a transformation in religious beliefs and the emergence of profound philosophical and theological questions. Within the UFO community, Elizondo emphasized that charlatans would be exposed and could face professional repercussions, while those who have genuinely contributed would receive the recognition they deserve. He called upon the scientific and academic communities to reflect on their past dismissals of the topic and urged them to engage in an international dialogue to collectively address these questions, recognizing that we are all part of a global human family on Earth. Elizondo also cautioned against individuals who deceive and exploit believers, turning the pursuit of UFOs into a profit-driven endeavor involving non-disclosure agreements. He likens such behavior to that of religious charlatans, suggesting that those who engage in such practices may not be trustworthy in other aspects of their lives. He advocated for open discussions on UFOs to destigmatize the subject and promote greater understanding among the public. Furthermore, Elizondo has taken a recent step by filing a formal complaint with the agency's Inspector General. In this complaint, he alleges a concerted effort to undermine his credibility for his outspokenness on the UFO issue. 
This campaign, according to Elizondo, included accusations from a senior official who threatened to label him as crazy. During his tenure at the Pentagon, Elizondo also voiced concerns about the military's apparent lack of seriousness in addressing numerous incursions into military airspace by high-performance aircraft of unknown origin. In his complaint, he expressed growing frustration with the insufficient resources allocated to the matter and the minimal involvement of senior leadership despite a mounting increase in UAP reports reaching their office. This situation left him increasingly dissatisfied with the handling of these critical matters. Elizondo also contends that he has been subjected to a concerted campaign aimed at tarnishing his reputation. This campaign allegedly includes Pentagon press releases that stated he had no official role in UFO research, even after his role had been officially confirmed. He further claims to have been targeted by a Pentagon adversary who, in his view, has repeatedly attempted to harm his career. This purported adversary supposedly sought an investigation into Elizondo for releasing a video, despite Elizondo having been previously cleared of any wrongdoing. In his complaint, Elizondo levels accusations of malicious activities, coordinated disinformation, professional misconduct, whistleblower reprisal, and explicit threats against certain senior-level Pentagon officials. The complaint is substantiated by a collection of supporting documents. Elizondo has asserted that he possesses evidence in the form of emails, documents, and publicly available records which suggest a deliberate effort to obscure the truth from the American public while simultaneously impugning his reputation as a former intelligence officer at the Pentagon. What's your take on this matter? Do you think Elizondo's claims about the government concealing information about aliens and UFOs from the public are truthful? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below.